This is Johnny. Johnny is a four-year-old boy who loves to play soccer, video games, and jumping on trampolines. Lately, Johnny has been feeling tired, irritable, and lightheaded. Because of this, his parents took him in to see the doctor. The doctor decided to do some blood tests and found he had something called iron deficiency anemia and gave him some iron medications to take at home. Iron is a vital micronutrient that our body absorbs through our diet. Iron plays a key role in the production of our red blood cells which carry oxygen throughout the body. We need iron to give us energy for our bodies to function. Another role of iron is that it is essential for brain development in children. Now that you know what iron is, let's move on to the word deficiency. This means that there are low amounts of something. Lastly, anemia refers to low amounts of red blood cells and hemoglobin in the body. Therefore, iron deficiency anemia refers to a low iron level in the body that has caused fewer and less functional red blood cells to be made. Johnny, you used to be the league's best player. What's going on? You don't seem to have enough energy when you're out there playing. I know, Grandma. I've just been feeling really tired and out of breath lately. I can't seem to keep up with the other kids. It's making me upset because I want to play better. My doctor said I have something called iron deficiency anemia. Oh, iron deficiency anemia. I had that when I was younger. In order to gain the knowledge and wisdom to defeat this tricky disorder, you must travel to the top of Mount Health. There, you will meet a wise guru, and he will teach you all you need to know about the disease and how to overcome it. That is how I went from being weak to super strong. Mom, Dad, I'm going on an adventure. See you later. Be safe. Johnny embarks on his adventure, climbing through hills and valleys. He finally reaches a cave and finds a wise guru he was looking for. Wise man, I have come to learn about iron deficiency anemia. How can I overcome this tricky disease? Ah, uh, iron deficiency anemia. A common yet difficult condition. But there is hope, as iron deficiency anemia can be overcome. But first, you must gain the wisdom you need to defeat this tricky condition. Huh? What kind of no? Some children with iron deficiency anemia will feel tired or look pale. Some children might even have something called pica, which is craving to eat non-food items, such as clay, ice, dirt, or chalk. It is also important to realize that iron deficiency anemia can be a very sneaky disease, and sometimes you will show no symptoms at all, and not even know you have it. Your doctor may find that you have iron deficiency anemia on a routine blood test. What's so bad about iron deficiency anemia? If I have no symptoms and it's not bothering me, why does it matter? Even though iron deficiency anemia can sometimes show no symptoms, it can harm your growth and development. Children with iron deficiency anemia have behavioral difficulties and impaired intellectual development. They can also have more difficulty with reading and math. But the good news is, is that iron deficiency anemia can be reversed. And once you get healthy again, you can start developing normally. Yeah, but my mom and dad care about all this school stuff. I don't really care about it. I just want to play soccer. <laughs> oh yes, Johnny, I understand. However, because you have iron deficiency anemia, you might even find that when you play soccer, you may feel tired and feel short of breath. You may also look pale, feel lightheaded, feel dizzy, have a high heart rate, or be irritable. These are all symptoms of iron deficiency anemia. That's exactly how I feel, and I really want to start playing soccer again. I want to get better as soon as possible. I wish that upon you too, my dear child. However, first, you must defeat iron deficiency anemia. Okay, wise man, how do we do it? Well, first, you must consume iron-rich foods such as meats. This can include red meat, chicken, turkey, fish, and seafood. Other foods also have iron in them, such as spinach, broccoli, seeds and nuts, legumes, tomatoes, potatoes, beans, eggs, tofu, soy products, and iron-fortified cereals and formula. Iron from vegetables can be less available to your body than iron from meats, so if you are a vegetarian, you may need to consume higher amounts of iron to keep your levels up. I understand that your doctor has prescribed iron supplements to you. It is very important to take the iron as prescribed for the full course of treatment. Really? I have to take the medicine? That's baloney. I know, my dear child. It will be difficult to remember to eat iron-rich foods and your iron medication, but if you want to play soccer again to your full abilities, it's worth a try. Mm, okay, I see you have a point, but how can I remember to take my iron supplements? Sometimes I am so forgetful, and I just have many other fun things to do than waste my time eating iron-rich foods and iron supplements. I understand, Johnny. I am sure you would much rather be playing soccer and doing other activities rather than taking your iron supplements. I have a solution for you. You can either set an alarm on your phone or on your watch 
and take out a certain time of day each day when you have some time. Or you can take your iron along with another regular habit that you have, such as eating, taking a bath, or brushing your teeth. That way, as soon as you do one of these things, you will remember to take your iron. Hmm, that's smart. Since I always do these activities, if I just take my iron right before, I only have to remember one thing. Yes, good job. Plus, remember to brush your teeth after you take your iron supplements, especially if it's liquid, as it may stain your teeth. Okay, I still don't know why I have this disease while everyone else is healthy. Why me? Iron deficiency anemia is common in children age 1 to 5 who have low iron intake. For example, a lot of kids can be picky eaters and may not like to eat meat. It can also be seen in teenage girls who lose blood in their periods and in those who have a hard time absorbing iron due to a bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, or short bowel syndrome. Wise man, one last question. I never want to go through this again. How can people prevent iron deficiency anemia from happening? Let's start from the beginning. For the first six months of life, it is recommended that babies be breastfed or be given formula. Once an infant is six months old, in addition to breastfeeding a formula, they should also start eating solid foods, including iron-rich foods like iron-fortified baby cereals. Remember that infants should not be given cow's milk before 12 months of age. Once cow's milk is introduced, typically after one year of age, it is recommended that infants and children drink no more than 750 milliliters or 24 ounces per day. If infants and toddlers are drinking too much milk, then they are not hungry for solid foods, such as meats, which have a high iron content. Cow's milk can also cause tiny bleeds in the stomach and intestine causing your infant to lose small amounts of blood in their poop, which can lead to anemia. In addition, dairy products can reduce the absorption of iron, so be sure to prevent eating dairy products while consuming your iron medication or iron-rich foods. Lastly, the most important thing to remember is that the best way to prevent iron deficiency anemia is by eating iron-rich foods, such as red meat, turkey, chicken, spinach, broccoli, fortified cereals, and formula. Finally, once you have noticed that you are feeling better and your anemia is improving, you need to continue eating iron-rich foods as it may take many months to replenish the iron stores in your body. Will there be any problems if I take all this iron? Sometimes. The iron supplements, especially the liquid, can stain your teeth, so be sure to rinse your mouth out after taking your supplementation. Lastly, iron can temporarily make your tongue or poop appear black, but this will go away once you have stopped supplementation. The iron can also make you constipated, which is when you have a hard time pooping or when your poop is really hard. The best way to prevent constipation is to drink a lot of water and eat lots of fiber, such as whole grains. Occasionally, you may also need to take constipation medication to relieve your symptoms. Okay, let's do this. I think I know all that I need to know to get rid of my iron deficiency anemia. Over the coming weeks, Johnny starts consuming more iron as well as his medication, and he starts feeling better and healthier. Johnny, I just had a look at your blood work, and you don't have iron deficiency anemia anymore. Congratulations! You and your family did a great job of getting through this together. As we have seen from Johnny's story, it is completely possible to defeat iron deficiency anemia. Who knows, maybe when you've defeated this disorder, you might even be inclined to help others defeat the disorder as well. Hey! I think my doctor told me I have iron deficiency anemia. Oh, I know a few things about that. Let me tell you about it. 